Hey, it's John Terry, the Black Belt Leader, and welcome to the Be a Black Belt Leader podcast. Each week, I have the privilege and opportunity to share insights, tips, tools, and ideas to help you become a better version of who you are and what you do so you can truly become a Black Belt master of your life. Today, I want to share some insights from one of my favorite authors, Og Mandino. Now, if you don't know the name Og Mandino, you should. His books have sold over 50 million copies, and they've been translated into more than 25 languages around the world. Og has been a mentor to millions through his writings, and even though he passed away in 1996, his words of wisdom continue to inspire generation after generation. Perhaps his most famous book is a book my dad gave me when I was but a young teenager, and it was his classic best-selling novel, The Greatest Salesman in the World. It's the story of the priceless wisdom contained in 10 ancient scrolls that were shared from the greatest salesman in the world with the man who would one day take his place. When my dad placed this book in my hand, my dad told me that the priceless wisdom of these ancient scrolls as recorded in the pages of the greatest salesman in the world, he said, son, this book will transform your life if you will but read it and apply it. And as he put the book in my hands, he patted the top of the book and he looked me in the eyes and he said, success starts here. Now, I smile when I say that because every time my dad has given me a book throughout my entire life, he would share some variant of that same line. Success starts here. One of the things I love about my dad who instilled in me a lifetime passion for reading is dad at the age of 86 is still a prolific reader. He loves to read. And every time I have an opportunity to buy a book for him and to give back what my dad did to me, I love the opportunity to do that. But even to this day, if my dad is reading a book and something in that book speaks to him or inspires him in some way, and he believes it would be of value to me, my dad goes out and buys me a fresh copy of that book because he knows I love to highlight and mark my books up. And dad will give me or he will mail me a copy of that book. If he puts it in my hands, he will place that book in my hands. He will put his hands on the book. He will look me in the eyes and he will say, son, success starts here. If he mails me a book, he will call me a few days later to make sure I've got the book. And guess what he says? You got it. Son, success starts when you open the pages of that book. But there's something I've learned over the years from the books my dad bought me and the tapes that he got me, the opportunities I had to attend conferences and the books I've bought myself. Those books do absolutely nothing for me if they sit on my shelf and I never read them. The tapes that my dad bought me when it was the days of tapes before we went to downloadable MP3s, when my dad would buy me a cassette tape and he would give it to me, that tape never did me any good until I put it in the player and I pressed the play button. Here's what I learned. Success requires something of me, and it requires something of you. Every time my dad would give me a book or a cassette tape, or he would invite me to go to a conference, I had to take the time to invest in myself, to actually open the pages of the book and read it, to put the cassette in the cassette player and press the play button and stop what I was doing and listen or to go to a conference and take a notebook with me and a pen so I could take notes and I could learn the lessons the author, the speaker was trying to teach so I could then come home, reflect on what I had learned and figure out how to best apply those to my life. Every time success showed up on my doorstep, I had to step in the direction of success. You know, one of my favorite quotes from Mog Mandino really sums up what I'm saying up to this point. He said this, he said, no one could live your life for you. No one else can succeed for you. You know, simply put, you and I, we are responsible for our success or the lack thereof. Chinese philosopher Lao Tzu famously said, the journey of a thousand miles, you could probably finish the line because you probably heard it yourself. The journey of a thousand miles, what? It begins with a single step. That's right. The longest journey you'll ever take begins with a single step. And everything you're ever going to accomplish in life begins with a single step. 
You can have the loftiest dreams. You can have the greatest ambitions and you can envision these amazing things you want to accomplish in life. But if you never do nothing more than wish, hope, or dream, guess what? Those dreams, those ambitions, those goals, those objectives, those amazing things you want to accomplish in life will never be accomplished. They will remain elusive outside your reach because you never took the step to move in their direction. You have to get started to begin. You have to take that first uncomfortable step towards success or you're never going to get there. Success starts here with that first uncomfortable step. It starts with you. You know, one single step is all it takes to get started. But interestingly enough, as I reflect over the last 40 plus years of my life, I've been speaking, coaching, training, and mentoring people. I can't tell you the thousands of people I've met who remain fixed, unmoving, stuck where they are because they've never stepped towards success. They've never taken the time to answer one simple, basic question to get the clarity they need to move forward. And that simple question is this. What does success look like to you? Answering these questions is where success starts. Now, this question, what does success look like to you, requires that you do two things. First, to reflect, to go within and define what success looks like. And then part two of answering that question, after you've defined what success looks like, You've then got to go in and refine that definition to specifically identify how you are going to accomplish your goals, your dreams, and ambitions. You're going to define and refine how you're going to take step one, step two, and step three to get you from where you are to where you truly want to be. It's about educating yourself on success. Now, the Latin word for education is the word educa. It literally means to draw from within. It's you and I. It's going within the recesses of our thinking to discover who we are and why we're here, to discover who and what we ultimately want to become. It's about finding the answers to where we want to go, what we want to accomplish, and what we need to learn along the way, and more importantly, how we're going to know when we've arrived. Until you can answer those questions, how do you know what success looks like? what it's going to take to get there, and what it's going to look like when you actually arrive at the doorstep of success. This is where success starts in answering that basic question. You know, it's like you're putting all the pieces of the chessboard on the board to get ready to play the game. You've got to put the pieces on the board to play, but how many people spend their lives looking at the board thinking, man, I'd love to play this game, but they never take the time to put the pieces on the board and move that pawn or move that knight to get the game started. Each piece on the board, the pawns, the rooks, the knights, the bishops, the queen, the king, they all play an important role to help you accomplish and win the game of life. But if you never put the pieces on the board, you never have an opportunity to play the game. And if you put the pieces on the board and then you just sit there and you never take your hand and pick up one of the pieces and move them, you're never going to get the game started so you have an opportunity to win. So as you and I are engaging in this time of introspective, reflective thinking, guess what you're doing? You're identifying what you're good at. You're identifying how these skills, these talents, these abilities that you're discovering that you have within you are going to uniquely serve you in your quest to win and experience success. You're identifying your pawns, your bishops, your rooks, your knights, your queens, and your kings, and how they're going to serve you well. You know, Socrates said it well, to know yourself is the beginning of wisdom. Going within, taking the time to engage in this reflective process of answering the question, what does success look like? It gives you the opportunity to get to know yourself, to see yourself for who you truly are, and to determine what's going to be required of you to become the person you ultimately want to be, and to determine if you're willing to invest the time, energy, and resources to make that happen. Success is going to require something of you. 
And it's taking that first uncomfortable step on the journey of a thousand miles, and then the second, and then the third, and then continuing until you reach the end of that journey. This is where success starts. Now, why is this important? Because you're going to spend the rest of your life with yourself. Think about that for a minute. Out of all the people you're ever going to spend time with on the earth, you're going to spend every single minute of every single day for the rest of your life with yourself. If that's the case, you might as well get to know this person better than anybody else you're ever going to get to know on planet earth. Because if you don't know who you are and you don't know who you want to become, you've already set yourself up for failure. Now, why would I say that? Because you are responsible for your success or the lack thereof. Now, I've said it before and I'll say it again. I believe everyone was put on this earth on purpose for a purpose, and they've been equipped to fulfill that purpose in the earth. I believe every single person under the sound of my voice was born to be successful, to rise to their full potential, and to achieve their passion and calling in life. But guess what? This can only happen for you, and it can only happen for me when we answer the question, what does success look like to you, and what is required of you and I to individually achieve success in our lives? Remember, black belt leaders are masters of who they are and what they do. Now, we can only become masters of who we are and what we do by daily intentional actions that we take every day of our lives, taking one more uncomfortable step forward, staying in that uncomfortable place where growth happens, and taking one more step towards success. We're learning, we're growing, and in doing so, we're becoming a little bit better version of ourselves every single day of our lives. And if we do that over and over again and again, we're going to become more and more successful. And we ultimately become that black belt master of who we are and what we do. Now, I've previously talked about the law of the mirror, and I reference it often. A mirror shows us as we are, warts, blemishes, and all. It shows us as we are right now in the moment, all of our imperfections and flaws clearly seen. But here's the neat thing about a mirror. As we learn, as we grow, as we mature, as we become a better version of ourselves, we get to go back to the mirror. We get to see how we're improving, as well as looking deeply to identify the areas we need to keep working on. You know, I remember as a young man having the opportunity to work out. I was in my early teens. I'd gotten a card. I was playing football in high school, and I had an opportunity to get a membership at the local Nautilus Fitness Center. And I was so excited to go there to work out with these massive bodybuilder, Arnold Schwarzenegger, Hulk type men, thinking this scrawny, skinny body of mine was ultimately going to get there one day. That didn't happen. But I remember going to the gym, excited every day to pump iron with all my might. And then I would drive home and run and look into the mirror in the bathroom to see the results. I would flex and there wasn't a lot to see, at least up front. But over time, as I continued to be persistent in my exercise, my biceps began to get a little bit bigger. My triceps became more defined. The six-pack abs became much more defined, and I could actually see them. My quads got stronger. My calves got stronger. My body got stronger. I could lift more weight. And over time, I began to see the results of all the hours of hard work paying off in my life. Success works the same way. When you and I, when we start on the success journey, guess what? Initially, we're not going to see a lot of change. It's only when we're persistent, when we continue until we succeed, that we start to see those tangible signs of growth, maturity, and improvement in those key areas of our lives. And this provides us the motivation and the inspiration we need to keep going, to keep learning, to keep striving, failing and learning from our mistakes and trying again and getting it right, trying again and getting it wrong, learning, trying, learning, trying, and continuing to move forward until we see success in those areas and then stretching our boundaries again and again and again, constantly striving to become a better version of who we are and what we do. But along the way, it's important. It's essential to have those reflective man in the mirror and woman in the mirror moments so we can see where we are. 
We can remember where we came from and we can see what remains to get us to where we truly want to go. We get the opportunity to reflect on what we've learned and experienced when we look in the mirror. We get an opportunity to see the challenges that we've overcome, the things we've learned about ourselves and others along the way, and the gifts and the callots and the abilities that we've discovered, that we've developed, and we're now deploying that is not making success just a possibility, but a reality in our lives. You know, Ogmandino in that classic book, The Greatest Salesman in the World, said it well, and it's one of the timeless principles of those ancient scrolls, I will persist until I succeed. That is another success principle, and success starts here, persisting until you succeed. So success starts here. It starts now. It starts with you taking that first uncomfortable step on the journey of a thousand miles to go from where you are to become the person you truly want to be. And remember this, you can't become a black belt master of who you are and what you do until you first discover who you can become. Until you go within and discover that black belt leader waiting to be discovered, developed, and deployed you're never going to have an opportunity to experience the level of success that you have truly put on this earth to accomplish. That's going to require when you go within to understand what you believe and why, to learn what your non-negotiables are and to make sure they stay your non-negotiables. As you go within, you're going to have an opportunity to discover the things you didn't know you were capable of doing and you begin to become a master of those things. You have an opportunity to learn about yourself things that you didn't even know you were capable of doing or becoming. And when you do so, here's what's going to happen as a result. This journey of success, this journey of a thousand miles, discovering things about yourself, getting to know this person you're going to spend the rest of your life with has some amazing benefits because here's what happens. When you begin to learn and discover what is yet to be discovered about you, you're going to find things about yourself that are going to let you go higher, faster, and farther than you ever imagined possible. The amount of success you envision right now is nothing compared to the vision of success you're going to have in the future as you take those steps, that journey of a thousand miles towards success. Success starts here. It starts now with you taking that first uncomfortable step and then that second, and then that third, and continuing on that journey, moving forward, persisting till you succeed. Remember, you are responsible for your success, no one else. So choose today to understand the lesson my dad taught me years ago. Pick up a book, download a podcast like mine, listen to other people who can inspire and encourage you but invest in yourself and take the time to do so. Success starts here. It starts now. It starts with you. I'm John Terry, the Black Belt Leader. Thanks for joining me and have a great day.